Okay, I bet you we get the entire ground. It's been two days now. now since I came to the Institute. I still haven't decided whether I want to stay or not. But Bobby Drake sure makes it seem awfully inviting. It was exciting hearing about the X-Men's adventures at the Harp facility in Alaska. Part of me wishes I could have gone with them. I guess I'm getting caught up in all this X-Men superhero business. You don't say. Yep. Many level ups. I'm sure. Yeah, not that many. Only okay. one, in fact. Let's see if there's anything new at the X-Mansion. Protect 202 and the dormitories of the mansion. Uh, say that again? A danger room disc in the dormitories. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna have to start working on my fiery form. Yeah. Because that's how you get to most of her higher level stuff. But we'll finish out her shooter stuff first. Okay. Now. She could really use more power. But she's not level 10 yet. Strike and body. Strike. Nothing. And I don't have armor for most people. Okay. You can explore the grounds a bit. Yeah, and all you can do is walk around and talk to people. Yeah. Jubilee and a few others should be unlocked, though. Jubilee and Nightcrawler, I think. Maybe some others. Student. Hey, you're new around here. Yes, I'm Allison Crestmere. Any idea where Professor Xavier is? He might be in the study. Or maybe the sub-basement with Cerebro, or in the danger room control room. He's been in the sub-basement a lot lately. I think he's pretty worried about stopping the Brotherhood. Everyone here depends on Professor Xavier, don't they? This school would fall apart if he ever left. Not to mention what would happen to the X-Men. But I thought Professor Xavier wasn't the leader of the X-Men. Oh, Professor Xavier, Professor X isn't team leader, but he keeps things working smoothly. What do you mean? Well, the X-Men are all people who aren't afraid to speak their mind, and that leads to trouble once in a while. So Professor X is there to calm things down when tempers get the better of the team. Thanks, see you around. Bye, Allison. Goodbye, students. I am gone. Tennis courts. I don't think there's anything interesting in here. I can't even jump. Yeah, because you have no reason to jump. I could have jumped over the tennis court. Yes, but why would you? I uh, said tennis net, specifically, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, I know. Or jumped over that. Oh, there's Jubilee. To your writer. Hey, you're that new girl everyone's talking about. What's your name again? I'm Allison Crestmere. I got here just a few days ago. Whoops. And you, you are? are? The name's Jubilation Lee, but everyone around here calls me Jubilee. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, I wanted to be called Rogue, but that code name was already taken. Really? <laughs> no, not really. Where, Where are you from? I was born in Beverly Hills, California. Then my parents died, so I spent some time at a juvie hall in LA. But I had a lot of run-ins with the management, so I took off and lived in a Hollywood mall. That must have been terrible. Yeah, it was kind of a rough time. 
But the mall was cool. I mean, you know, I swiped whatever I needed. And I got real good at keeping two steps ahead of those lame security guards. Then the mall went and hired a bunch of mutant hunters to track me down. Luckily, Storm, Psylocke, Rogue, and Dazzler were shopping there that day. So you're a mutant? Nah, I'm the gardener. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. You look like a student. <laughs> Jeez, Allison, you'll believe anything, won't you? Hey, I'm new here. I don't know anybody. Okay, okay, cool your jets. I'm just playing with you. Of course I'm a mutant. What's your mutant power? I generate this really bright energy from my hands. It's great for temporarily blinding people. And what's even cooler is, I can make it explode. No way. Yep, I call them fireworks. So, what's your mutant power? I can I make people's a lava heads monster. explode. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> oh, good one. Yeah, looks like you and me are gonna get along just fine. I'll see you later, Jubilee. See you around, Allison. That was a very mediocre effort at voice recording. Okay, can't open those doors. That goes into the ground floor. I guess we'll keep going around the edge for now. There's a student. Hi, my name's Janice. Aren't you Allison? Yes, I am. It's nice to meet you, Janice. What's it like being a student here at the X Mansion? The classes are non-stop. Math, physics, history, philosophy, they keep us real busy. Why all the studying? I thought this place was supposed to teach you how to deal with your mutant powers. They do, but they also want to prepare us for the world once we leave the school. Most mutants don't join the X-Men. They become normal people with normal jobs, or at least they try to be normal. What can you tell me about Bobby? Iceman, he's a major flirt, but he's a really nice guy. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. It's just he's kind of cute. Don't tell Jean Grey, but I think Cyclops is the greatest. He's always so smooth and in control. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Thanks, anytime. Done talking to these people. Back down the other side. Is there anybody in the middle right here? Nope. No. I'll head to there. There's a student. Hi, the Danny. name's Danny. What can I do for you? Hi, Danny. I'm a little new to this whole mutant lifestyle. Got any tips for me? Yeah, I keep away from humans. Really? You mean it? No, I'm kidding. Sort of. Humans have always been a little uneasy about mutants. But now that General Kincaid is speaking out against us, things are heating up. The humans are starting to really fear us. I think it's only a matter of time before things get violent. Yeah, don't say. Who's General Kincaid? I've been studying that guy. He was a brilliant military leader until his wife was killed by a mutant that lost control of his powers. After that, Kincaid suffered a nervous breakdown and was hospitalized. Six months ago, he was released, and now it seems that his main goal in life is to protect the world from mutants. How does he want to protect humans? By developing weaponry to combat dangerous mutants. Which mutants does he think are dangerous? All of them. Thank you. That should be everyone outside. Really? Wait, except maybe by the pool? Get that. Talk to them. One of the tennis courts. That leads out back. Which you cannot do right now. I was about to say, it's not giving me that option. Yeah, you're not allowed to go out back. Alright, now we've got basketball courts. Alright, those are not tennis courts, they're basketball courts. Okay. That's Danny. 
Oh. Whoops. Can't talk to them. Hi, there's the pool. Yeah. Did you already go buy it or? No, I need to finish out all of this area back here. Then I'll head back to the pool. See, because all of this dead ends against the pool anyway. And I started out at the other corner of the pool. I was right. Iceman is here. Hello, Allison. You're looking most excellent today. But then you look most excellent every day. Can you tell me anything more about the X-Men's trip to the Harp facility? Can you tell me anything more about the X-Men's trip to the Harp facility? Yeah, I guess there was a lot of equipment at the facility that had nothing to do with studying the Aurora Borealis. So if they aren't studying the sky, what are they doing? Professor X thinks the government might be using it as a high-tech headquarters for storing sensitive information. Stuff they don't want regular people to know about. You know, things like Area 51, the man on the grassy knoll, old disco songs from the 70s. Ha 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 ha. Who is that toad guy they Who is back? that toad guy they brought back? Toad? He's a member of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? Is he dangerous? Only to himself. The Brotherhood treats him like a court jester, always playing tricks on him. Why he puts up with all their abuse is beyond me. And yet it took four of us to beat him. I heard someone say Toad mentioned Sentinels. What's a Sentinel? I heard someone say Toad mentioned oh. Sentinels. What's a Sentinel? They're mutant hunting machines. But the government shut that program down years ago. I'm sure Toad's just talking smack. I don't know. Well, I thought General Kincaid guy <laughs> See you wanted later, to bring Bobby. back mutant hunters. See you later, yeah. beautiful. Where we started, if I remember correctly. Or that seat with your or journal that. on it. Yeah, I can't get in the pool. Why would they let you do that? Okay, we have done everything outside. Yep, you've Just, talked to that woman. Yeah. Uh. Mansion is this way. Sorts of people here now. Regular that students. That was the front door. Is there anybody in back this way? We Wait, go this, this is way. yeah. This is the front lawn. Yeah, and can't get it yet. We also have a comic. Guten Tag, Fräulein Kreismeier. Huh? A thousand pardons. I did not mean to scare you. What did you expect teleporting right in front of her? Really? Who are you? Who are you? My name is Kurt Wagner, but normally I use the name Nightcrawler. That's a very cool name. Danke. That was my performing name when I was a famous acrobat known all over Germany. Perhaps you have heard of me? No, I can't say that I have. Pity. I do so love the spotlight. But perhaps what I loved the most was people's assumption that I was just a regular human dressed in a devil's costume. That trick of yours is pretty neat. How does it work? It is teleportation. At first I could only teleport a few meters, but the more I practice, the farther I can transport. Wow. You can travel anywhere? Almost. I must be able to see the place I am teleporting to, otherwise I might appear in a wall or tree, which would be most disagreeable. Could you tell me about the Sentinels? Sentinels are pure evil in mechanized form. Wait, don't tell me we're already For a time, the, the government funded a program that oh, built those mutant killing machines. How do Sentinels work? They are programmed to scan for mutant DNA and then kill any and all mutants. Their shielding and weapons were built to withstand all but the most powerful attacks. 
I have battled them before. But God protect me should I ever have to again. Yep. What's it like Setting fighting a flashback. sentinel? Oh, no. Oh, it is terrible. Oh, I remember okay. one the battle in particular. I I got the X-Men were summoned to New York Actually, to help a friend both, in I trouble. Think. Maybe it is only in the danger room. I don't know. You've mentioned God several times. It seems kind of odd that you look like you do, and yet you're religious. Yeah, I have heard that many times. But my belief in God is my greatest strength. For you see, muscle may be able to move mountains, but faith can lift an entire civilization. <laughs> Bye, Nightcrawler. Auf Wiedersehen, Allison. Is this the only time you get to do it? I think you can do it in the danger room. You might go ahead, I think. Hang on. Guten Tag, Fräulein Christ. Bye, Nightcrawler. Auf Wiedersehen, Allison. Okay. You can actually come back and talk about you it. You can come back and talk. Oh my gosh. It Guten Tag, Fräulein Kretz. Bye, Nightcrawler. Auf Wiedersehen. It will keep giving you the option. Okay, but they also said it's supposedly in the danger room. Supposedly. Okay, Cyclops got a plus two agility and a plus two focus. Iceman got a plus two body. Always loved that art, even if he is a bit overmuscled. So we've done the Wolverine. Okay. Shouldn't be anything in here. No. They are just in here without a teacher. You can always do the X Men bios. Get those caught up. Wolverine, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Professor X, we did Rogue, Iceman, I'm honestly not interested in reading all of those out, all done. Don't step on the man's hand. That should be cinematics. Which we don't need to look at. You're gonna skip through the Sentinel flashback for now? There is yeah. some stuff to be gotten in it. Yeah, but no, I mean, we're gonna do it, I just don't want to do it right now. You'd prefer to save first? Well, I want to finish talking to everybody first. I don't like interrupting when I'm in the middle of doing stuff like that. Fair enough. When I get around to doing other stuff... Danger room disc. There it is. Second level. Bless you! Is he go sneezo? Doors are all closed again. Yep. Aww. Picture of Jean. Uh, oh, the car. I think that comes back to it at some point, but maybe not. Not that I remember, but. Jean's rose picture. Your room. Your suitcase. Okay, same old, same old. Nothing on the desk. Nothing on the vanity. His chalkboard. Desk, Bit that's desk. new. On the desk sits the full collection of Professor D. Vondrak's magnum opus, The Complete Analysis of Subatomic Particles, Volume 3. Nothing else new. That's 
movies. Or is it? Loading screens, I think. Yeah, that's load screens. Now the other wing. Was there anything in Rogue's room already? I don't think so. Check her map. Yep. Pinned to the wall is a large map of North America, crisscrossed with many pencil lines suggesting planned journeys. One in particular stands out the most, running from Mississippi to Alaska. Uh, which way did that come in? This way? Yeah, keep going that way. No, no, no. You came that way. Ah, you're right. I see it. Storm's desk. You've already seen that one. Yep, that's the letter to forge. Sometime one of her plants becomes available, I think. Yeah. Not available, active. There's Bobby. Nothing in Bobby's room. End table. That's new. On the end table is an old airline ticket from New York, New York to Tokyo, Japan. It is a one-way ticket that was never used. Easel has been examined. Which is just the picture. Yeah. Concept art. Okay, we did early Allison. Harp Soldier 1. Harp Soldier 2. That's it. That's it Allison for now. Here. Okay, now down to the sub basements, talk to people. That's the trivia game, which we've already done. I mean, you only get XP for it once. Yep. Sub basement. Be back. Okay. Uh, seems like we can talk to Toad for one thing. Steak, blob, pyro. Hello, little girl. Come to talk to Toad, have you? I... I don't know if I should. Come now, dearie. Surely you're not frightened of poor old Toad. No. I I'm not afraid of you. Is Toad really your name? No. My real name's more than my toyin' be. But they call me Toad because of how I look. Say... Would you mind letting me out of here for a few ticks? Just to stretch my legs? Not if you gave me a million dollars. Oh, come on now. I promise to be good. Wrong button. Why do you put up with all that abuse from the Brotherhood? You see, the Brotherhood took me in when no one else would. They're me family, and I'm sticking with them. No matter how many times a sods ditch me. But you could leave the Brotherhood, and maybe even join the X-Men. Me? An X-Man? That'll happen the day the devil needs a snow shovel. Oh. So, how's about opening this cell? 
It's mighty cramped in here. There's no way I'm letting you out. What does the Brotherhood want with me? I wish I could tell you, love, but I don't know nothing. Cross me heart and hope to die. You know, if you give me some information, I'd speak to Professor Xavier about letting you out of there for a little bit. Oh, in that case, Mystique wanted you as part of some plan of hers. And when she couldn't snatch you away, she was plenty mad. Well, that's all I really know. I'm leaving. I'm sure there's something else I should be doing. Hey, dude, talk to the professor. See if he can find it in his heart to let poor old Toe go free. Not a chance. Anyone in the med room? No, but there is a health potion. Nice. He is gone. Goodbye, Dr. McCoy. Hello, hanger. Currently Only inaccessible. inaccessible. in here. You can never interact with the Cerebro. Right. Cyclops should be in here now. Yep. Allison, I didn't mean to spy on you, but surveillance cameras showed you were talking with Toad. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. Should I not talk to Toad? I suppose it's okay. But you have to be very careful. Toad can be sneaky when the mood suits him. Yeah, he seems to think he can talk me into letting him out of the brig. I said he was sneaky, not bright. Who was that, who was that woman who tried to kidnap me in New York City? Her oh, name is Raven Darkholm, is but she currently calls herself Mystique. She's a very talented shapeshifter and can assume the form of anyone she sees. For all I know, right now you could be Mystique in disguise. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure you're you. Is Good she in know. charge of the Brotherhood? She's really more of a second in command. But for the past few Nothing. years, yeah, she's been in control. Why did Mystique come after me? Professor Xavier is convinced that Mystique and the Brotherhood are up to no good. The problem is, not? all we can do is wait until the Brotherhood tips their yeah, hand. But what use could I be to them? We don't know. But you must have been a very important piece of the plan for Mystique to attempt to kidnap you in broad daylight. Thanks for the info, Cyclops. Anytime, Allison. Okay, don't want to talk to the computer yet. Ah yes, talk to the computer. And the danger room. There's Professor X.